Hey, how are you guys doing? Uh, WH6AV here doing a uh, video demo on uh, virtualization for Windows uh, MD380 tools. So what you want to do is um, get the two files, uh, download it, uh, virtualize uh, VMware Workstation uh, 12 player and the uh, MD380's uh, MD380 tools.zip file. So once that's saved to your uh, computer, uh, go ahead and uh, install the uh, VMware Workstation 12 player. It's a quick uh, download and uh, you basically can come to this window. What you want to do is click on Open Virtual Machine. So you're going to go to the directory that has your uh, VMware um, that you extracted on the MD380 tools uh, .zip file. So it's going to look for the uh, .vmx extension, md380tools.vmx is the file name. So in this case, we'll go ahead and just uh, open it up. Well, in this case, it's already uh, uh, set up on this uh, VMware Workstation 12 player. So it's named md380tools. So as far as the setting goes, uh, everything's set by default, uh, 512 megs of memory, processor, just leave it at 1, hard disk, 20 gigabytes. Uh, the uh, file, just leave it uh, by default, Debian 6, uh, 8.6. Network adapter settings, uh, leave it at NAT. Uh, USB controller, leave it at present. USB compatibility will be 2.0 and then the uh, rest just leave it at default just go ahead and click on OK and then uh, make sure MD380 tools is highlighted click on play virtual machine and what it'll do is go ahead and boot up and uh, just click on OK for this removal devices window um, it's uh, starting up right now so uh, loading up uh, the um, hard drive uh, just going through making sure it's clean goes through and detects the uh, host controllers and the uh, Intel uh, domains package so once you get to a login screen you're gonna use root as your login the mouse is uh, showing with a pointing arrow just click on this window the VMware window Okay, to return back to your window screen, you're going to press Control and Alt keys at the same time. So that'll take you back to your uh, Windows session. For the VMware session, you make sure you click in the Windows uh, for a VMware Workstation 12. So let's go ahead and type in root. The password is md380tools. So once you're logged in, it's going to prompt you to enter your full name. Please enter your full name. And then it's, it'll prompt you for your call sign. So this is what it is on, uh, on my machine. I did upload uh, version M1.1, M4 Mini uh, Menu 1.1 is the uh, current version of uh, the MD380 tools scripting program um, for the VMware Workstation 12 player. If you so what you want to do first is uh, run number 4. It's going to tell you that MD380 tools directory exists. Would you like to update? Say yes. Always say yes whenever you're uh, running this program because what it does it grabs the latest uh, files for MD380 tools. So it's uh, compiling uh, right now. It's grabbing the uh, latest vocoder also. This is almost done. This is a fast machine, so it's going to take me back to the main menu. It's already compiled. Uh, basically, what you want to do is uh, connect it up to your uh, radio with your USB cable. So in my case I'm going to connect it up and uh, let's go ahead and use the uh, MD380 radio 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it in DFU mode. I'll uh, put, hold the push the talk button and the top button above it and uh, down at the same time. Power on the radio so it detects it and immediately. As you can see on the screen, STM Electronics uh, Digital Radio and USB mode. Say OK. Uh, that tells me um, that the radio was detected and it's in DFU mode. So to flash the uh, latest uh, hack firmware, we hit option number five. And remember now, the uh, mouse is uh, moving around with the uh, finger pointing upwards, uh, pointing finger. So we we'll just click on this window, and it goes away, and that puts you into the uh, VMware session. So option number five, and we'll say yes. Right. We are in DFU mode, so we say yes, and uh, it's compiling uh, a couple more things, uh, and then what we'll, what it will do is it'll uh, write the flash to the uh, radio. You'll see it here. Uh, beginning firmware upgrade. It's going to start off at one percent, and increments of uh, eleven percent. So zero, eleven, twenty-two, thirty-three. And 44, 55%, 66%, 77%, 88%, 99%. Oh, actually, you skipped it. It went straight to 100%. So you can reboot the radio. Uh, go ahead and uh, turn turn off the radio. Turn it back on. So the radio is back on. And uh, we can now flash the DMR user database to the radio. So we'll say uh, option number seven. We'll say yes. The radio is on. It's connected. You just want to make sure. We'll give you 20 seconds to connect it up. Turn on the radio as you normally do. The radio should not be in DFU mode. And what will happen now is it will go out and grab the... Uh, files to uh, create the uh, user CSV um, to be uploaded into the radio. Um, you'll see, as you see on the screen, uh, grabbing uh, special IDs from uh, Brandmeister master servers. There's a bunch of them. Uh, there's, I think, only one uh, server that has special IDs. That's the uh, Russian server. So do not be alarmed, uh, this is not an error, it just indicates to you that there's no special IDs found for the master server. There you go, number 23, the uh, .r 2 aeenet uh, has two special IDs, a Parrot and the APRS. So that's the only one that was found. Um, so as soon as this is done, um, it will be flashing the database to the MD380 radio. So it's just about uh, uh, almost done grabbing all the uh, special IDs that's out there. So it's grabbing the DMR mark uh, database. Uh, so. Uh, put it together with the reflectors, a special uh, uh, TMP files that was created uh, behind on the compilation of the database for the user CSV. Uh, puts it into a user.bin file so that it can be uploaded to the radio via the uh, Flash uh, program uh, via MD380 tools. So currently it's erasing the memory allocation for the Chinese language area uh, portion on the radio. So after this is done uh, erasing uh, that memory allocation, it's going to write to it uh, by saying flashing. So there you go, flashing 2,616,840 bytes at the uh, memory uh, location of 0x100000 and then uh, it should be done uh, soon
take about 30 seconds more to actually complete this process once it's done uh, go ahead and uh, power the uh, radio off and you can disconnect your USB cable so it told you to reboot your radio uh, in my case the, the uh, radio is uh, back on so that's it that's all there is to it to um, flash the firmware and the user's CSV into your uh, Titera MD380 390 radio it will also work on the Retivis uh, DMR radio to exit the VMware please uh, press 99 first and then type in power off and then you'll properly shut down the VMware uh, station so you're back in Windows um, just like that uh, any questions feel free to ask uh, all right have fun guys WH6AV clear and signing off Aloha